The expectation, even right now, I would say, is, is to get to the Man Cup. Not even a day on the job, and Joe Sullivan is putting big expectations on himself to get the Lakers back to the Man Cup. Sullivan graciously accepted the Lakers' offer of coach and general manager and what he calls the best job in lacrosse. You know, on Friday it was a tough, a tough decision that I had to struggle with. I bounced that back around to the people that I care enough about to do that with. And, you know, uh, late Sunday I came to an, an understanding, you know, in terms with myself uh, that, uh, that I was going to take it. And it's kind of onward and upward now. So I am excited about, you know, what's, what lies ahead for the Lakers. First and foremost, Sullivan wants to carry on the tradition of bringing in local lacrosse players. There's guys in junior, but there's also guys out in senior B that, you know, maybe have felt overlooked or have just decided they didn't want to do it that I'm going to reach out to. And hopefully uh, they reach out to me as well to, to give themselves a second chance and, and get a good look. We're going to have a full training camp this year where, you know, it's not just going to be let's meet for game one. Not that it ever was, but we're going to try and restructure a training camp. So there are small things that we get away from because we were so, you know, thick in talent that now we got to get back to and let some of these young guys see how it's really, truly done. And while there might be those that are upset or displeased with the Lakers coaching change, Sullivan says that's all part of the job as he knows he'll have to prove himself and earn the respect to the players that his predecessor held. I'd be remiss to think that they're, that everybody's just going to be you know, fine with me stepping in. And I, I accept that. That's how it's going to be. That's no different than when I was in Minnesota. Hopefully, uh, you know, give it a little bit of time and they'll understand where I'm coming from. And that's where I go back to reaching out to them now and trying to get that communication flow started.